Today, we will learn when to use a and an. So let's start. Here we have some objects. Let's name them. This is an apple. This is a chair. This is an egg. This is a mango. This is an orange. This is a pen. There is a little confusion why there is a before certain names and an before certain names. Let's find a solution to this confusion. We have 26 letters in English. Out of them, only five letters are vowels and rest of them are consonants. And the rule is, when a singular naming word begins with the sound of any of the vowels, then we use an before it. And when a singular naming word begins with the sound of any of the consonants, we use a before it. Let's learn this with examples. What is this? We will say, this is an apple. This is a single apple. So we have to use a or an before it. But apple starts with the sound of a. So it is a vowel sound. So we will choose an from these. So it is an apple. Next example. What is this? Again, this is a single object. So we will use a or an before it. It starts with the sound of M. So we will choose a and we will say this is a mango. So we learned that we use a or an before a singular naming word. And the rule for using an is the naming word should begin with a vowel sound. And the rule for using a is the naming word should begin with a consonant sound. Now, let's learn more examples. What is this? This is a banana. Why a banana and not an banana? Because banana starts with a consonant sound, the sound of letter B. So we will use a before it. What do you see in this picture? These are mangoes. We will not use a or an because the naming word is not singular. There are more than one mango. So we will neither use a nor an. Instead, we will say these are mangoes. Remember kids, if there is a singular object, then we have to use a or an before it. This is the picture of umbrella. Umbrella starts with the vowel sound U. So we will choose an and we will say, this is an umbrella. Now, let's see some more examples. Eraser. It begins with the vowel sound E. So we will use an before it. An eraser. Pen. Now, pen begins with the sound of letter P. So it's a consonant. 
So we will choose A with a pen. Here we have the picture of lunchbox. It begins with the sound of consonant L. So we will choose A. This is a lunchbox. Here we have the picture of some books. That is, more than one book. So, books is a plural naming word. We will use neither A nor N. We will say these are books. We have the picture of some apples. Apples is a plural naming word. So we cannot use A or N with apples. Here we have the picture of a laptop. It begins with a consonant sound. The sound of letter L. So we will use A, a laptop. Bowl. Bowl begins with a consonant sound. The sound of letter B. So we will say a bowl. Cup. Cup begins with a consonant sound. The sound of letter C. So we will say a cup. Eggs. Eggs is a plural naming word as there are more than one egg. So we cannot use a or an with it. So we will say these are eggs. Inch tape. It is a single object and begins with a vowel sound, the sound of letter I. So we will say an inch tape. Lion. Lion begins with a consonant sound, the sound of letter L. So we will use A. Octopus. Octopus begins with the sound of letter O, which is a vowel. An octopus. Fan. It begins with a consonant sound, the sound of letter F. So we will say a fan. Now, here we have some tricky examples. How will you name our? Will you say a hour or an hour? It begins with the letter H. H is a consonant. But when we say hour, we notice that it starts with a vowel sound of A and not with the sound of H. So we will use an before it, not A. We will say an hour as the rule is to see the sound of the first word and not the letter itself. Here is another such example. What will you use with honest? A or an? Will it be a honest person or an honest person? Honest starts with the letter H. But the first sound of the word is that of the vowel O. Remember, if a singular naming word starts with the sound of a vowel and not necessarily with a vowel, we will use an before it. Here is another example. Uniform. What will you use with uniform? A or an? 
It begins with a vowel U. But it begins with a consonant sound Y. So we say a uniform and not an uniform. Similarly, for the unicorn, we say a and not an with it. We never say an unicorn because it begins with a consonant sound, the sound of letter Y. We say a unicorn. So kids, today we learned a lot about how to use a and an. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.